Hey everybody, it's Visceral Jouster here again with another battle replay on the Britannia expansion. I am playing as Ireland and I'm fighting uh, Coops who is playing as Wales and he's hiding up here on the hill. And I was telling, okay, so when we started this whole thing out, it was just, I told him, I'm not going up that death hill because <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to happen. So I just decided to flank around and try to go around this way where he's not set up because over here, you can obviously see he's got the swath here, so he's got stakes. I know where he's hiding. It's easy to see. So I'm just going to slowly flank around this way, so that way he can't, he doesn't get any use out of those stakes, and try to catch him when he wasn't, you know, up on the hill. But you'll see in a second, he doesn't keep this position. And speed up a little bit faster. Because it does take a bit of time for things to actually get started. So he leaves, he goes down, and we'll go over there, I'm going to count through a bit. He's got, um, let's see, uh, I think he's got, let's see, one, two, three units of more Gwangs, more Ganwigs, um, two, one, two, got two units of Riffle, Riffle wear, um, you know, Miranoid, um, a Hillware unit, uh, four units of Saith wear. Yeah, General's Bodyguard, and uh, some Taylu. Now, I myself am using a um, army comp that was recommended to me by Swissman. Um, it's an Irish rush, very much so. Um, it's got General's Bodyguard, uh, four units of Habigur, two units of Mounted Cavalrymen, and two units of Lord Retinue. And then it got uh, four Ulster Swordsmen. A unit of just Catherine just to fill in the ranks, and I think four units of Galgleich. -like. And yeah, it's a very aggressive build, and it's very, very deadly, as you'll see in a little bit. Um, let's make sure we got all the units for him. So here, oh, it looks like he has three units. Yeah, three units of Refillier, Gwenex, Renoids, Jen, and Taylu. So. He's got, okay, wait, and he also has male knights around here somewhere, but they're hiding. Hiding out, can't can't find them. Where would they be? Let's see, let's zoom in the map real quick. Hmm. General's bodyguard. Uh, so. Well, he's setting up down here. So, yeah. And I'm all the way over here, and I kind of send in some mounted cavalry to try to see if he's got anything else hiding in here. Um, because it's very easy, he can just ambush me, and he does. He's got Taylor hiding, I didn't see this before. And so, oh, and he's got another, he's got a unit of Miranoid Spearmen as well, in there. So, I pull my Cavaliermen back, and I want them to get some shots at them too, as they go. And then I start moving my forces forward to get on this side here. I also sent out... Lord's Retinue on the flank, just in case something were coming from over here as I was starting to go for them. But yeah. Pressing hard. The Force. The Force to battle. Very much so. Kind of hard to see, but it does get clear after a bit. So, obviously, what I did is I wanted to focus down this one side unit of stuff over here. Just so I can take down all the cav that he has, basically, and so I can have cavalry superiority. So I kind of send some units around wide, and you'll see later what I do with my infantry. But for now, the cav battle is beginning. I got my Lord's Retinue charging in the backs of the Miranoid Spearmen. Don't want to charge them front on, no, not at all. And I got some other Lord's Retinue attacking these unit Telu. And I got Habigur running in the back to try to counter them, at least, if not get them in the back, because I didn't want them running around. So they get me in the side. But then I've managed to already route this unit, so this unit of mounted cavalrymen are coming up and around. And this Lord's Retinue is coming in for another sandwich in between this unit, Abigur, and just sandwiching these Taylu, essentially. And he's sending over his male knights, there they are. Four to engage, but I am also sending it over just a couple units just to keep his archers busy and keep him preoccupied on this flank. Just like two units of you know, Gal like just a sacrifice essentially. 
and it works pretty well, so I don't really have to worry about that coming. And so I can take care of his cab pretty easily. And our unit Galagite coming in the back of Wales. But he did manage to... No, I routed that. Oh, and he did route one of my Lords right new. But I also routed all of his cab right here, essentially, except for this unit, Telu. Over here, this battle's being lost, obviously. Just too much arch fire. They're just, they're just barreling down them hills. But I've won the cab engagement on this side. And that's basically all the cab he brought. So I have very much so the cab superiority. Which is very key. And so I start setting in the rest of my units for this a flank charge and not a head on thing. I send all my cav over around the back. It's, and then they're getting shot up. So they're also distracting at the same time, which is good for me. Because I don't need this much cav that as much anymore. I still need it. But as you can see, I'm making do. Oh, they're just a regular old charge right there. I'm making a sway there. Give my give my um foot units a bit of a reprieve as they approach. Instead, you know, just straight up shooting them to pieces as they approach. There's a lot of sway through here. So I make a tempting offer of my cavalry while I move in my infantry. Here and here. I'm using the forest to my advantage. And here they come. Also swordsmen, fully decked out. Very, very cool looking. Ireland is one of my favorite factions. It's... It's tough all over. They get like a top three. And it's really tough. But I charge in some hobby gear here. And obviously not a very smart choice. But again, just to keep things bogged down and busy because I can and make things look tempting so that my infantry has time to make their assault without being too worried. And there go in the Galgalik and Lord's Retinue. Ulster Swordsman. Oh, Galgalik and also Swordsman. Lord's Retinue is dismounted. So I get a route here. And over here, I got my cavalrymen shooting around, shooting a bit, and I've fully engaged on this flank. Wales is setting in, his jumps by got around to try to do some damage back there. But I'm creating a big route right here, and there goes another one. It's just, it becomes a mass route very quickly. The amount of cavalrymen do a deadly, are deadly. And just the amount of troops on this side is just overwhelming them. So these Miranoids and Morguanics are out, and so I get another charge in with Joe's bodyguard and some light cap, and I get another out here. And yeah, it just becomes just one massive route, essentially. And the general came in from behind, but I also came in from behind with some Galagic, and I get him anyways because he was going to lose Red New. Red New. So his general starts the route, and basically. That's it. It's just a massive route that just ensues. It's 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 just pretty deadly. The Swiss man has a good army comp here. I think this was the one he told me. Yeah, I had a second one made too. This is pretty. This is basically the one he told me. I think I might have made a little bit of changes to my own purposes for it, though. But for essentially, it's the same thing. <laughs> And so there you have it, 861, he had the numbers, which is very important in Medieval 2. Having more numbers is kind of a good thing, you know. Um, but I had more enemies killed than him, but not by much, but I did have a lot more captured than him, which is why the high, lo the high men lost count for his side, because it's just that massive chain route. Let's check the uh, stats here. Um, doing okay on the Cav, uh, Lord's Retinue getting 97 kills, that's pretty good. This one, not too good. Uh, how you are doing okay. Yeah, this one did a good job, and so did these two. Mount Kevinman doing very big, very deadly damage here. Um, the Moyer doing 5 and 1 and 1 and 5. I mean, that's, that's eh. Flip flops or whatever. Um, and then the Ulster Swordsman doing a bit of good damage. 22 casualties, 24 uh, kills. These ones not doing too great of a job. The Galg, like. Did not do a good job either, but again, I think it was this unit and this unit were just sacrifice, essentially. And the rest were, I had a whole unit of just not use Kalk like. And a whole unit of just not use Kalk theory either. They're just more for scare tactics and stuff. And just to flank around quickly. But there you have it, guys. A clear victory. You go for stop by. I'll see you next time.